Hi, everyone. Very happy to be here. My name is Anumeha. I'm a product principal uh, with ThoughtWorks. What I do is uh, I build products to solve problems uh, for business, products that help businesses grow. So in the past seven, eight years that I've been using AI tools, that's how I've been using them, using AI to solve uh, seemingly unsolvable problems uh, erstwhile and using them for business growth. That's what I've been doing. Um, what I'm doing right now is also a very interesting space, just processing a large amount of data uh, to find patterns, to find insights, which were very hard to do earlier. Curious, uh, fast evolving space. So there's something new happening every day. There's never a dull day at work. Uh, that's how, you know, that's how I keep staying in this world of AI, using it to solve new and new problems. I have also done some volunteering work with uh, an organization called as Technovation Girls, helping young girls solve the problems around them by using AI tools and watching them get to the breakthroughs that they need to solve some socioeconomic challenges, to solve environmental challenges, that's incredibly rewarding. There are a couple of things I would like to highlight here. We have AI proliferating our lives, so many tools out there to do things for yourself, to do things for the society, for the business and so on there is still a lack of trust in these AI solutions. So once you put a solution in front of people, there's this apprehension like, is this really trusted? Uh, what is it based on? Is there some harmful suggestions coming out there? And that's one of the biggest challenges I face uh, solving problems for businesses as well. One thing that's helped is just digging deeper into why an AI tool is suggesting what it's suggesting, like what's happening under the hood uh, and how useful or useless that is. And then explaining that uh, from a human's point of view to the stakeholders, to the people who are actually going to use these AI tools, these AI products, just helping them understand from a human's point of view of what part of this should be trusted and what should not be trusted. Uh, that's worked out uh, well for me so far. Also, uh, quality assurance, regulations, compliance, uh, all of them are catching up uh, really fast to these AI tools. So I'm hoping that a lot of this, uh, building trust in AI tools and making sure that we are using them in the right way, will just go on and become easier as we go. There's another one that I would like to add, which is just about the representation of women in the data and AI fields uh, is not as much as you might see in the other fields of, uh, you know, career or other fields of technology. So that's one reason I continue to keep pushing forward to make sure we have enough representation. So any solutions that we are designing for uh, the larger population also has a voice and representation, uh, making the solutions just more inclusive. This is, uh, again, like a fast evolving space. Uh, and one thing that's happened with the AI technology and tools is you can have one technology or tool which can actually be used in many ways. So you have sort of like the foundations in place and then you can go in many directions to solve different kinds of problems using just that one underlying foundation. Uh, and that I think is very, very powerful. So as we go along uh, in 2025 and in the future, I think what's going to happen is also, uh, this is going to be a world for the builders. So building products uh, for, you know, let's say large uh, businesses, uh, large organizations, but also using these tools and building solutions for yourself uh, for making your everyday tasks easier, faster, better, all of that is uh, going to happen. And that's very exciting, right? Like, when was the last time you knew you could use technology on your own to solve your own problems? Uh, whether that be, you know, writing content or whether that be making art or whether that be, you know, uh, organizing uh, your to-do lists uh, or finding patterns from all the thoughts that you had put together at some point. Uh, all of that is like very, very exciting, being able to build uh, on your own, so much autonomy. So that's what's exciting. Uh, and that's where I would also suggest uh, people to start looking, pick up a familiar problem space and use these tools to solve your own problems.